What's happening guys? In today's video, let's talk about understanding interfaces. So without further ado, let's get started. You know what? I'm going to delete this, 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 and get rid of all these three files. So let's start fresh. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Java class, but this time I'm not going to say class, I'm going to say interface and say, let's say, um, I'm going to say animal. All right, now what is an interface? Interface is something like this. Uh, so this interface contains, an interface is something that contains methods that are not defined. What do you mean by methods that are not defined? We'll have a look at it. So I'll say wide and uh, make sound. So every animal makes some kind of a sound, right? If it's a dog, it barks. If it's a lion, it roars, right? So let's uh, uh, keep make sound as a, a common thing for all the animals, right? Now this interface, notice, does not have any method defined inside it. You see, as soon as I try to define the method, it says methods cannot have body. Now let's get rid of that and just keep it like this. And then you might want to ask me, hey, sh why, why not we make this public? We can make this public, but it's useless. You'll understand why you cannot make it public. I mean, it's useless to explicitly call it as public. Now, let's create an animal. Now, let us say the animal's name is lion, right? Now, this, this is a lion, and obviously a lion is an animal. We could have simply said extents, but I don't want to do that. What what I want to do is I want to say implements. You know, in the last class we saw how inheritance works and we used extents, right? Now let's say implements. Now lion implements an animal. Now as soon as I type animal, notice it says lion must be either declared abstract or implement abstract method make sound in animal. What is this supposed to mean? You you notice when we did this interface, we never defined, right? Now, as soon as we give an implementation here, it, it is asking me to implement uh, that make sound method. Why? because lion is, you know, making sound is different for every animal. So we kind of make it, you know, different for every animal. Anyway, let me just get to it quickly. Now, if I just click here, control and enter, oops. Uh, if I just say alt enter, it, it gives me up with this option to implement methods. And then which method do I want to implement? Because there is only one method, I would just simply say, okay. Now, as soon as I do that, notice it gives me an override uh, tag with public void make sound. Now, what is happening here? Basically, we are providing an implementation here in the lion class, which is taken from the animal interface, right? Now, let's say I want to create another animal called dog. And this dog is again an animal. So I would do implements animal. And if I just do alt enter and say implement methods and choose make sound method to be implemented, here we go. So this uh, make sound method is again implemented. You notice if we define something, okay, let me just uh, type it out for you. S out. I'm a lion roaring. And then if we go to dog, this time I'm going to say S out. I am a dog barking. So this is how we we make use of interfaces. Basically, we define a method, right? We define a method in the interface without declaring any body to it. And then we use 
in a particular class. The particular class would be this. In, in our example, it is lion that is implementing the animal interface. The dog in, is implementing the animal interface. Now tomorrow, let's say we have another animal. Ah, we'll call this cat. Now this cat implements an animal, right? This cat is an animal, by the way. And if I choose Alt Enter implement and choose make implement methods, aha, you see? Now this time, let's say I'm a cat and I meow. All right, so here we have three classes that implement and that implements the animal interface. Now, uh, I have a quick question for you guys. Why did we do this? Why, what is the need for us? We could have simply come here and said, S out, I am a cat, right? I, we could have simply come to the lion class and simply would have, you know, I could have just said S out, I am a lion roaring. And that is applicable even for the dog. Why did we do implements animal interface and then make use of that method present here? The reason is simple, you know, I'll get to that in the next uh, videos. Maybe when I deal with strategy pattern, we'll understand more of that. But at this point, just know that there is something called as an interface and that interface cannot have any body. Okay. And that interface has to be implemented in a so-called concrete class. What is a concrete class? Now a concrete class is something that implements the interface. So in this case, the concrete class is lion, right? So lion here is the concrete class that implements the animal interface. Dog is the, is a concrete class that implements the animal interface. Cat is a concrete class which implements the animal interface. So I hope it makes sense for you guys when you try to understand interfaces and when you try to make sense in your own world. But at this point, Let's create another class called main. All right. And, and I'm going to say PSVM, which stands for public static void main. And now let's make use of these objects that, uh, those classes that we have created, you know, let's say cat, uh, let's give it a name, um, you know, crazy, I don't know, right, whatever is a new cat okay now let's uh, do dog marquee you know I, I'll, I try to make this funny but it's not funny anyway dog is a new dog and then lion Simba do you guys remember Lion King movie if at all you watched anyway it's a new lion Right. So now we have created Roski, Marky, Simba, uh, which are actually respectively what they are. Now let's look at the fun. Rasi dot make sound. Marky dot make sound. Simba. Oh, how could I do this? A capital letter. Simba dot make sound notice I'm just making sound for every animal and if I just try to run you see I'm a cat and I meow which one is it Rassi Marky dot make sound calls I'm a dog I'm barking and Simba make dot make sound calls I'm a lion, I'm roaring. So that is the power of interfaces. You'll get to know more about an interface and notice this turned yellow, which means that we are making use of this method. And if I just try to click on it, it has three uses in the main. Uh, so that is the basic introduction to interfaces. Uh, in the next uh, class, uh, in the next video, oh, and by the way, and by the way, I want to tell you something. It's, it's uh, you should know about an interface just in case. Let's try to create a field for an interface. You know what is a field, right? Let's try to create a field and say private 
as soon as I type private, notice what happens. Private is not allowed in the in any interface for that matter. Why? Because we are trying to implement it in another class, right? So therefore you can't make anything private. Okay, and say int uh, legs, something like this. And by the way, this is a bad practice to declare uh, a field inside an interface. Usually a field is not going to be there, whatever, and say, zero uh, and a field is not going to be there usually in an interface and by default you know what this uh, field whatever we declare it is going to be made public and static so public and static so that is the by default uh, explanation you know implicitly any field declared inside an interface is public static let's just confirm it once. Um, fields in an interface. Java. Okay, all fields are public, static, final. Oh yeah, final as well. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Public, static, final. Can you guys tell me why we have public, why we have static, why we have final all together at one shot? And why is it that Java implements any field as a public static final variable? The reason is simple. You know, when we implement it here, uh, let's try to use that. Um, S out. Oh, wait a second. Let's see. Let's go to our main and then say S out. And in this, uh, let me type animal dot lex. You see, this is how we use the lex variable because interfaces they can never be instantiated. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, like make you feel, oh, what this guy is talking. So I would make it as simple as just telling you that if you want to make use of this legs variable inside the animal interface, obviously, obviously, it is going to be static. So this is a static variable. You understood the reason why it's static. Now let's talk about why it is public. Obviously, if you want to use it outside, it's got to be public. Or you can have it protected in some way. But, oh, no, you can't. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. What did I even say? You can never have a private or a protected for an interface as a field specifier. So it's obviously going to be public. It's going to be accessed outside. We don't, we don't do extends for an interface, right? So that's the idea behind making it not protected. And then why is it final? Final means a final variable is something that is going to be that is going to be not altered once it's initialized so once I set this as zero it is never going to be altered so I cannot do something like this you know I cannot do lex plus plus actually I should put it here for a pre however you I cannot do it you know I cannot do something plus plus or minus minus meaning I just cannot simply update uh, a variable that is basically public static and final so that's the idea behind it and I, I wouldn't usually see there is a reason why you want to do it but yeah there is an opportunity if you want to uh, just declare it's it's a bad practice it's a very bad practice to declare a field inside an interface so that's it uh, in this video I hope I made it clear what it means to have an interface. So let me just give you a real quick brief of what we discussed. An interface is something that does contain method. You should basically focus on the method. Don't even think about a field. So methods are undefined inside the interface. Whichever concrete class, you know, a concrete class is something that uh, provides implementation for an interface. So lion here is a concrete class because it, it implemented the make sound method from the animal interface. 
So, so I mean, whatever class that provides a concrete implementation, that class is going to, uh, whatever class go is going to provide an implementation is going to be called as a concrete implementation. And uh, yeah, so this method is abstract. All methods in the interface are abstract, meaning it is not fully defined. You cannot define a method inside an interface. So I hope it makes sense. Uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, subscribe if you like this video.